This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. So you know how you sometimes have this really cool texture that you want to apply to an object in uh, Maya or whatever program you're working on, and you have this crisp brand new logo that you want to put on top of it? Well, that obviously doesn't work, okay? So in this short tutorial, I will show you guys how you can apply a, uh, a logo or something else onto an existing texture and make it look like it belongs there, all right? Well, let's uh, have some fun and jump in. Here we go. All right, guys, here we go. We're in Photoshop. We're gonna go to File and Open, and I'm gonna open a backdrop that I got here to work as a base for what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna hit Control Plus to zoom in a bit. So this is what we're going to work with, okay? This is a painted surface and it's kind of old and faded and damaged and so forth. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a logo, we're going to place it in front of this and we're going to try to make it look like it's been there for a while, okay? So we're going to go into a uh, file, we're going to go to place embedded and I found this Coke logo that we're going to use. And as you can see, this is a very crisp logo and it doesn't look faded at all so that's what we need to address okay i'm going to hit Control minus to go back a little bit so i can adjust the size of this logo layer just by taking this uh, and dragging it i'm going to move it until it's centered like so and then i can hit Control plus again all right now once i'm happy with the placement there we can hit enter and it's placed now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a layer mask based on uh, our background and we're gonna place that in front of our logo, okay? So first we need to select our background, which is the blue faded paint. We're gonna right click, we're gonna go to duplicate layer and it will create one that's called the background copy, okay? Now once we have that, we're gonna make sure that we got that one selected and then we're gonna to go to image, we're gonna to go to adjustments, and let's go to um, black and white to start with. Hit okay. And then we're gonna to go to image adjustments and we're gonna to go to brightness and contrast. Now I'm gonna decrease the brightness a bit and increase the contrast like so. Then I'm gonna turn off my blue background. I'm gonna turn off my logo layer I'm going to hit Control minus so I can see it better. I'm going to drag select the entire thing. Hang on. Hit Enter first. There we go. We're going to drag select everything and we're going to hit Control C to copy. Okay. Then we're going to hide this layer. We're going to turn back on our Coke layer and our background layer, right? And what we want to do is we want to uh, apply a mask to this guy right here, okay? So with that selected, we're going to go down here to create mask. And then we're going to hit Alt, hold Alt and click on this. So we got this mask open and we're going to go to edit and paste, okay? So now if we make sure that this background copy is turned off, we make our background visible and we make sure that this is visible, okay? We already have an area, I will hit Control plus, an area where you can see that it's now much more faded than it was, okay? Now, if you want to tweak that uh, to some extent, what you can do is you can go into your eraser tool right here. And now you've got a, quite a large brush, if you will. So we'll go in here, we'll decrease that. That looks better. We'll take a kind of a faded brush here and we'll go in and make sure that the flow value is pretty low and let's decrease the opacity as well. Let's do a quick test here. Okay, so what you're doing is you are taking away your mask. For example, down here in the tail of the sea, when you apply that, you're bringing back the original color, okay? depending on your needs. So you are basically taking your mask here and you're taking out parts of it like so. All right. So that's one way to achieve this effect. And hopefully it was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Bye.